However they feel that they have law enforcement, they'll just move to another state. Uh, and I think it's very important that we have uh, federal authorities involved in this process, uh, working in coordination and cooperation with the state authorities uh, to make sure that, that any illegal activity can be brought to justice. You if you had everything you were asking for in there, would that raid in April have been necessary? Well, uh, what happened in Texas, obviously, is uh, allegations of sexual abuse of young children. And whenever anything like that happens, it's imperative uh, that the state take action to protect those children, and whether that means removing them from a dangerous situation or prosecuting sexual assault of young children. Well, the, the sheriff in Schleicher County has made the same complaint, that there was no actual complaint they could act on. Even with what you're asking for, with the communication, the sharing of evidence and things like that, would you have been able to stop the FLDS from coming to Texas? I think if this, the apparatus that's being discussed today had been in place five years, ten years ago, uh, when law enforcement efforts uh, were taken against FLDS in Arizona and in Utah, uh, they could have been, FLDS could have been eliminated to such an extent that they wouldn't have been able to travel over the state of Texas. So I think the state of Texas situation would never have occurred had we had in place the kind of law enforcement ideas that are being talked about today. Even this morning, a representative, a lawyer representing the FLDS community says this continues to be a government victim a religious persecution of a group of people who hold unpopular beliefs. Certainly think the state of Texas has signed on to what they think Utah and Arizona have been doing to them for many years. What do you say? you got to say something. Maybe that's the best thing you can come up with. Uh, sexual assault of a child uh, is nothing that's cloaked with any kind of religious protection whatsoever. By any state any federal government anywhere uh, should prosecute uh, any man who sexually assaults a young girl, and that's what the state of Texas is doing. And all these excuses and, and uh, smoke screens that FLDS throws up uh, trying to raise the guise of uh, religious persecution is nothing more than a smoke screen to try to avoid the real issue, and that is real girls were sexually assaulted by men in Texas, and we intend to prosecute them. Do you think it goes the step further that this is, in fact, a criminal organization? Yeah. Any group of people uh, who operate in ways in which uh, more than one man uh, sets up a situation where they will sexually assault more than one girl, uh, that's the kind of criminal organization that we ain't shut down. How many more? You've got six, you've got six indicted now.